moon! Even though you can't see the sun at night, the moon glows because of the sun's rays. But during a lunar eclipse... Uh, ahem? Yes, Emma? Lunar eclipse? I thought we were learning about the moon. We are. Lunar is another word for moon. During a lunar eclipse, the sun moves all the way behind the Earth, blocking the sun's rays completely. That's why an eclipse moon looks so dark. Ooh! <laughs> like this dark? <gasps> ah! Orbit! Turn the lights back on! Oh. I can't! I can't find the switch! It's too dark in here! where we can see a lunar eclipse. Oh, I've always wanted to see the dark side of the moon. Let's see where you can go. The cheese planet? The moon kind of looks like a giant piece of cheese, but it's less stinky. Ooh. The astronomy planet? That's a good place to watch a lunar eclipse from far away, but we want to see one up close. That's not a planet. That's the robot moon. We can't get any closer than that. Yay! <laughs> yes, the robot moon. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. There's no gravity! 
Gravity? Gravity is what holds us to the ground. Or, if there's no gravity, like on the moon, you can... <laughs> Float around! <laughs> Orbit must have hit the no gravity button. Remember, <laughs> this is the robot moon. We can make it do anything. <laughs> that was so much fun! Much better than playing in the dark. Let's see what else the robot moon can do. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Funny. I think one of the stars is missing. <laughs> Maybe that one was a shooting star. <laughs> and let's try another. <gasps> we ah! hit the sun. It's a lunar eclipse. We did it. Mm, Rob, no. It's too dark. I can't see anything. It's okay, Emma. There's nothing to be afraid of. But I don't like it. Where's the on button? Oh, oh, sorry. Ah. 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 What's that noise? Yeah. It's a star. He seems really upset about something. It's okay, little star. You don't have to be afraid. You're with friends. Oh! oh no. ah. Whoa, he's a speedy little guy. Oh, that poor little star. I don't think he likes the dark either. He should be up in the starry sky. But how do we help him? He's too fast to catch. Maybe if we turn off the sun again, he might come back to turn it on. Eclipse the moon again? <laughs> mm -mm. Mm -hmm. It's okay, Emma. There's nothing to be afraid of. We're right here beside you. Here, you can even be in charge of pressing the button. Mm -hmm. On the count of three, okay? Okay. I'll do it for the little star. One, two, three! Ah! <laughs> oh, it's okay. We just want to help. Good little star. You're with friends. You don't have to be afraid. <laughs> Great job, Emma! I knew you could do it! We were right. The dark isn't so scary when I know my friends are close. But what are we going to do about this little guy? I get it. He's the missing star. But how are we going to get him back up there? I can help with that. get back to our mission, enjoying the lunar eclipse. Uh, are you sure, Emma? Of course. With my friends and our little star watching over me, what's there to be afraid of? That's the spirit, Emma. And I'd say this is another big mission accomplished. Yeah! <laughs> mission control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? the robot moon to see one up close. Lunar is another word for moon, and when a lunar eclipse happens, the moon becomes very dark. 
but we didn't realize how much the dark bothered Emma. And it turned out she wasn't the only one afraid of the dark. Having her friends near and turning off the lights on her own gave Emma the courage to deal with her fear. And in turn, we were able to help the little star. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up.
train. Perfect for building great big fancy towers. Easier. What about this? Perfect! We can build this thing in no time. And the sooner we finish building it, the sooner we can knock it down. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Oh, Orbit, the goal is build something you can't knock down. Huh? Hey, I have an idea. Let's split into teams and see who can build their tower the fastest. And the strongest. Yeah! TK's on my team. Ready, steady, build! Hmm, all the red ones are square shaped. And those orange ones all look like the letter L. Let's sort the blocks into different colors first. That way we can easily work out which ones to use for the foundation. Uh, the what nation? <laughs> foundation, Rob. Foundations are built at the bottom and keep a building strong and safe. A strong foundation stops it from falling over. I get it, just like our space blocks game. Mm -hmm. This will be the best tower ever! Woohoo! This is so easy, Emma! Look, we are way ahead of Rob and TK! We'll have our tower finished before they've even placed the first block! <laughs> a bit too fast there. <laughs> no problem. We still have plenty of time to build another. Only this time, we need to build even faster. <laughs> this foundation looks great. What's next? According to the picture, the next pieces are the blue blocks. Roger that. Blue blocks are coming up. gives clues on what pieces go where. <gasps> the picture! Gosh, we got so caught up in the race, we forgot all about following the instructions. Hey, why don't we all help build a tower together? We'll have this up before you can say Bolt Boy! Bolt Boy! <laughs> <laughs> Missing is the piece that connects them. According to the picture, all we need is a small white piece shaped like an upside down letter U. Does it 
orbit. Slowly. Just a little more. Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we went to the building block planet so we could build ourselves a life-size tower. TK and I learned it's best to organize things before building. But Emma and Orbit weren't so organized. They decided it was better to build super fast. And each time they rushed, their tower toppled over before they could finish. We learned that if you're careful and follow the instructions, you can build almost anything. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. electricity or solar power to light their giant light bulbs. But in this case, I made my own power source, using Squeak's wheel as a generator. Ooh! Gee, I'd love to see a real life-sized lighthouse. They sound amazing. Me too. And that sounds like we have a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Sounds like a bright idea. Let's see where you can go. The Piggy Bank Planet. Great for keeping our pennies safe, but we want to keep boats safe. Treehouse Planet? Hmm. We're looking for a lighthouse, not a treehouse. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> yes, the lighthouse. 
house planet. Great choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelt.
all this fog? <whistles> oh no! Maybe that's Rob and Emma! They could be in trouble! Maybe they can't find their way back! <gasps> You're right, Orbit! It's too foggy! We need to get this lighthouse working! And fast! But how? We've looked everywhere for a giant light bulb! There's none here! <laughs> huh? Use the hamster wheel? A mini generator? Of course! That's a brilliant idea, Squeak! Come on, there's no time to lose! Okay, so now I need to connect this end to the wheel. Like so! And I'll attach this end to the light bulb. Okay, everything's in place, Squeak. Time to do your thing. <laughs> it's working! It's working! <laughs> faster, Squeak! Faster! trouble finding his way back. And with this lighthouse working again, all the boats can sail safely away from shore. They sure can. And we can safely return to our rocket knowing this has been another fantastic mission accomplished. <laughs> mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? When we climbed to the top, we realized it wasn't working. The lighthouse was missing its giant light bulb. Emma and I went looking for a new light bulb, but before we could return with one, the fog rolled in. Fortunately, Squeak had a bright idea. He remembered that there's a lot of other ways to generate power. You can use water, wind, or in this case, hamster wheel power. Thanks to Squeak, we kept all the boats safe and we were finally able to see our lighthouse in action. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, 